But David, I want to go right back to yeah. you. And uh, are, are things loosening up a little bit with uh, LeBron James's reps in terms of contact with teams? What are you hearing? Well, you know, the story came out Thursday night from ESPN, and it's and it's you know I've been able to confirm that the, his agent, Rich Paul, did meet with four teams, and I'm going to try to put them in alphabetical order. I'm not putting them in order of preference because once you start doing it, everybody says, "Why did you mention them first? And, uh, so I believe it was Cleveland and uh, Houston and uh, Dallas, oh, Dallas, then Houston, then Phoenix. So it was those four teams that met with LeBron's agent. And it's telling that they were all, for the most part, owners. You know, it was Dan Gilbert, it was Robert Sarver, it was Mark Cuban. Um, you know, it was not general managers or head coaches, or at least they weren't the only people there. It was owners that did most of the talking. All so, right. Um, it's a it's a it's a fascinating time. It's a fascinating uh, situation for LeBron James, and, and again, I think putting max pressure on Pat Riley to come up with somebody important. Uh, Chris, uh, go ahead. Come on. You know, the one th interesting thing about LeBron is four years ago he took a lot of heat for how things were handled in 2010, and he's a smart guy, and he's doing a nice job with this. He's letting his agent handle it. He's having initial meetings. I'm sure there'll be another round of meetings. This is smart. LeBron knows what's going on. He's out of the country, sending out tweets with his family. This is a good move by him and really smart by him.